I typically won't entertain dupes that are a direct knockoff, right? I have always felt like if you're going to take inspiration from something, you should probably add something to it to make it your own. And by making it your own, I definitely do not mean just slapping your logo on it and calling it a day. That being said, upon investigation, Arola, which I would say is like the number one Amazon dupe for the Alphaly Amplify leggings and shorts, does feature a completely different fabric composition from the Alpha Elite line. Michelle, you've never even tried the Alpha Elite Amplifies on your channel. And that's because this shit was so hard to get a hold of. Talk about the most exclusive stuff. You better know somebody be able to get a hold of these launches. Or you better wait here like I did and not get the color or length that you wanted. But nevertheless, Alpha Elite review coming up soon. I ordered one pair of leggings and two pairs of the shorts from Arola on Amazon. The total came out to $90.00 and 56 cents and it was shipped to me within five days. Arola also has their own website which you could order on. Handmade with love in a factory. What in the fuck? Yeah, we'll circle back on that. These are the Arola Seamless Intensify Leggings. I got them in the color dark olive size medium. They were on sale for $25.19 when I ordered them on Amazon and they retail for $35.99 on the Arola website. Here they are, the Arola Seamless Intensify Leggings. This dark olive color looks very true to the color that you see on the website. I would say if anything, it's like maybe a pinch more khaki but basically spot on I love the color and the feeling of these and they're available in 31 colors is that not insane and they have nearly all of the sizes in stock they offer sizes extra small to extra large the fabric composition on these is 56% nylon 34% polyester and 10% spandex the Rolla website actually has a whole area where they talk about their fabric as being sustainable I wasn't able to find any kind of follow-up info on that okay I'm gonna need Arola to be so fucking real about their website right now. It legitimately says featuring this super soft and sustainable material. I look around on the website. There's no follow-up information on the sustainability. So I sent them a message and I said, how is the material sustainable? They said, hi guest, I am not sure. Can you ask in another way? I said the material is described as super soft and sustainable. I was wondering what makes it sustainable. They asked where described super soft and sustainable. I said, under the description of your items, I attached a photo. For example, description of Intensify shorts says that. And then I attached a photo. They haven't responded yet, but they will. It's weird. If you leave the website and you come back, the shot's like still there. It's the sustainable fabric. It's the handmade in a factory. It's the fabric compositions that don't really add up, which I'll get to. The website leaves me intrigued. What an interesting website. They have a 25 inch inseam. They're the perfect length on me with some high tops. I am 5'9". And the medium definitely feels very true to size. These are super flattering on. I love the feeling of the fabric. I typically tend to go for more thick seamless material. This is very, very lightweight. It doesn't give you any kind of issue in the front. Everything's sitting really smooth. And babe, the back, the back is phenomenal. I like that they are described as being more of a 7 8 length. I think that's very true. Especially if you're tall like I am, as you can see, you're not going to get that full length, but I'm not mad at it at all. I think it's a really nice length, especially since I wear high tops a lot and I wear crew socks all the time. So the waistband on this feels really nice. I've heard people talk about the Alpha Lee Amp having that three-tier waistband. When we look at this, they've definitely copied that same idea. Me personally, I typically go for more compressive waistbands, but I kind of like that. What the fuck? I didn't think I'd like it that it's so much less compressive down here. We've got this mesh detailing that goes down the side of both of the thighs. Also making an appearance above the bum area. All the styles have that really cute heart shape above the bum. I think it's so flattering. And the scrunch. Okay, so I actually really like the scrunch. I will say that I feel like the scrunch sits depending how fat your ass is. My ass not that fat. So I feel like it does stick out a little bit at the top. But that being said, it's still really flattering. I'm 
kind of fucked up at how much I like these. I also got the Arola Intensify shorts in the color Ponderosa Green size medium. They're on sale for $28.04 on Amazon when I ordered them. They typically retail on the Arola website for $32.99. I had to look it up because I feel like these fit quite a bit longer than a four and a half inch, but that is what it said that I ordered. So, although I do feel like the next pair I'm gonna try on that claim they're the same length are quite shorter. How the fuck are they gonna say that these are the same length? Literally according to who? Here's the Intensify next to the dream. As you can see, I don't think I'm being wild. If you stack them up waistband to waistband, the Intensify are definitely a bit longer. I can't tell if I'm just stupid. Do you guys agree? Roll out. What the fuck? The fabric composition is the same as the leggings, has all the same kind of details as well. Miss Ponderosa Green, she's more teal than I was expecting in person. I would describe it as being less true green than it looks in the photos on the website. Other than that, I would say the color is pretty on par with what you're seeing. I think in general, I would recommend just sticking true to size. I love the size medium in both the intensified leggings and shorts on me. I definitely wouldn't have wanted to go a size down. Love the logoing on on these they just have the Arola brand logo on the back center of the waistband I also like how it's printed onto the waistband it looks really high quality and you can tell it probably won't wear off I own so many different scrunch items and I do have to say this is one of the most subtle scrunches that I own I feel like it almost just gives you like the appearance of a wedgie for lack of better words it's not giving you that butthole look that some scrunch leggings absolutely can give you she's cute she's subtle but she's still fun and she's still makes you look amazing. It's honestly hard to believe that you could get this high quality of stuff this fast and this cheap. Say hello to the Arola Dream Collection. They do feel dreamy, to be honest. I got them in a size medium in the color Java Coffee. Retailing for $32.99 on both Amazon and Arola. You are not getting a discount on this dreamy little piece. Are they worth their dollar? Let's find out. I was wondering, would I even be able to tell the difference between the Dream Collection and the Intensify Seamless Collection? Absolutely, you can absolutely feel the difference. Holy Holy shit, offered in 12 colors. This is the Java Coffee. How cute is she? Oh, the, the mat. Ah, I'm so excited. I can't even talk. The fabric on this is so soft. It's very similar to the Intensify fabric, but it just has this soft feeling. Oh my God, it's so dreamy. Dreamy is the perfect word for this. Looking at the website, Arola claims the fabric composition is actually the same as the last two items, but Amazon claims that it's made out of 90% nylon and 10% spandex. I don't know what to believe. I thought that these would have the fabric composition listed on them. Nowhere on them tells you though. So I kind of believe Amazon just because they feel different than the last two. Here they are inside out. As you can see, they don't have any kind of tag on them anywhere. So they're a mystery. Feels so different. They're so much more soft. These have to be the softest seamless that I own. Like I'm tripping out. These are crazy. They're so unlike anything else that I own. And now I can't help but wonder which one of these is actually more true to feeling like actual alpha Make sure you subscribe for that review. Amazon warns that you should size up in these. I really like my size medium. I would not have wanted to size up. If you're in between sizes, I guess size up. As I stretch out the material, I can kind of see why they're telling people to size up. It does seem a bit more sheer than the other items were. It'll be interesting to see how squat proof all of these are. We should check that right now. I'm so attached to these. They better be good. Even though they roll up, I still love them for who they are. But if they're not squat proof, they're gonna have to go. They look good from here, but I'm gonna have to fold up on the fucking computer. When I go down on a full squat, I do feel like it shears out just a tiny bit on the cheeks. It's a little bit of darkness down the center, which of course is a sign that it's a little bit sheer, but honestly not bad. I'd give that like an eight out of 10. Get away with wearing it out. Wouldn't wear it for a leg day. So much faith in these Intensify shorts. Let's see. Oh, they're so cute. Looking good from here. I don't know. Are they good? For all of these, I was sure to work them into my bum just because you want to make sure with these really lightweight seamless that it's kind of like tights. You got to make sure you spread the material proper. So I was 
was sure to work all of these in, as you can see. Oh yeah, do you see that right there? It really shears out towards the bottom. That's honestly something I noticed about all three of these, is they're a lot more squat proof than they are like deadlift proof. When you directly bend over, I feel like that bottom area could just use more fabric in general. Like the actual cheeks are fine, but towards the bottom, oh yeah, it really shears out. This one's getting a seven out of 10. I'm kind of surprised. I feel like maybe just the neutral Java coffee hides it a bit better because it's more skin tone. This was unexpected. I was expecting these ones to be the best. That's a bummer. I didn't realize how much I like all this stuff until I'm squat testing it. And I find myself really, really hoping that they're gonna be good. Be honest, are they good? Mm, yeah, I'm seeing the same kind of thing with the Intensify leggings where it feels like the top of the bum and the mid bum are not the problem. It's really going to be those deadlifting days that are gonna get you. Do not, unless you're cool with that, don't wear it for that. Give the olive also like an eight out of 10. Overall, I think Arola has really great quality items for the price. The fit and feeling is actually super impressive. They were only moderately squat Proof, but still just simply cannot beat the fast Amazon shipping and the return policy. For me personally, the Arola website left feelings of confusion. In my opinion, it felt like there was a lot of grandiose statements with not a lot of information to follow up those statements. Really minimal information on themselves, the company as a whole. They have a link to their Arola family, which is seemingly just a buy, sell, trade Facebook page for Arola products. Rule number five stood out to me. At least do not work for Arola and they are not responsible for any issues you may face with your order. Just spam vibes, you know. I am curious, would you guys buy from Arola, even considering the claims that they are just a knockoff of Alphalete? I'm super curious, let me know why or why not. I've personally had mixed emotions about reviewing items that are dupes, just because so much work does go into creating something new and unique. But my God, Alphalete, just make your stuff easier to buy. I have so many exciting videos coming up, including that Alphalete Amplify review and a bunch of stuff for Black Friday. Tis the season, I'm very excited. I am Michelle Rahima, be sure to check me out on social media. I would love to connect with my other fitness girlies, so check me out on there. Thanks for watching, bye. You can call me Young Elijah Wine for Nesmos. Bless you if you sneeze, but if you step on my dress shoes, that's not cool. Ferragamo loafers, I don't wear them much. I heard there was a debate, so let me.